Before I had kids, I made like gourmet white wine sauces and used pretentious foods like capers. They just sound stuck up, but I like capers. However, after kids, I realized that their palettes are really simple. So here are some fun breakfast ideas. <laughs> That's risky. I just think it looks awesome. Welcome, I'm Danielle. Thank you for joining me. I have seven kids. Food is always an issue in my home. Let's go and talk about recipes. Breakfast is my favorite and it is great for any time of the day. So we often will have breakfast for dinner or breakfast for lunch because breakfast is just really comfortable. It's really homey. And I guess it's because there's always so much bread. Yeah, it's true. I do like bread. On Christmas Eve, it is my habit to, after I finish all of the other duties of the Christmas Eve night, I go in the kitchen and I do all our prep for our Christmas morning breakfast. Make ahead meals are just, not only do I make ahead our personal family breakfast on Christmas Eve, I also make whatever I'm bringing to my parents' house for brunch. It's one of our big family traditions that when we go over to my parents' house for Christmas, we all bring a Pyrex of whatever. One nine by 11 Pyrex or bigger of something to share. And so every one of my sisters brings that and my mom usually makes quiches and so we have plenty of food and no one has to spend a large amount of time in the kitchen. All right, so we started with 12 eggs, two cups milk. I'm using rice milk because I often use rice milk. It's just become habit after one of my kids was lactose intolerant for a couple years. It's better with milk, but rice milk works. And other alternatives work. One teaspoon vanilla, one half teaspoon pumpkin pie spice, one half cup sugar. Then you are going to put two cups flour in at the very end. Finally, you stick a cube of butter in a Pyrex and stick it in the oven while you're preheating it to 400. And when that butter just melts in the bottom, you're gonna pour the batter right on in. Second recipe I wanna share is just a pancake recipe. And this was actually my Grandma Lois's pancake recipe, so I call it Grandma Lois's Oatmeal Pancakes. These are super nostalgic for me because every Thanksgiving when we would go up to see my grandma, she would always make her famous oatmeal buttermilk pancakes. And I have been making them for my kids since I had my first. I'm making a triple recipe. I double or triple everything. And I very infrequently have any So triple recipe is one cup flour, three cups oats, one tablespoon baking soda, one tablespoon baking powder, four and a half cups of buttermilk, and six eggs. These are just a little bit more hearty because they have the buttermilk and the oats and the eggs, so it's a pretty good breakfast. Those Dutch babies. Ooh. This morning I am trying a rendition of bread pudding. So I'm going to lessen the sugar to make it more of a breakfast food and see how the kids like it. I have this loaf of bread that is just in tatters because my three-year-old tried to stuff a bunch of it in the toaster. So I just put it all back in the bag and now I'm going to use that for the bread pudding. Plus I'm taking all the heels out of my other loaves and we're going to use those. If you really want to make bread pudding that is just delicious, use sourdough and then make a whiskey sauce and it is just right. I have a lot of spectators.
I probably ended up cutting about three quarters of a loaf of bread. And before I put it in the Pyrex, I just smeared about three tablespoons butter down, topped it off with one cup of raisins, and then for the egg mixture, I used four cups milk, four eggs. Now you can use anywhere between a half cup sugar to two cup sugar, and I used only a half, trying to keep it low sugar. Two tablespoons vanilla, one teaspoon ground cinnamon. Whip that up and pour it over the top. Bake at 375 for about an hour. I really can't talk about breakfast foods without mentioning French toast. French toast is just always delicious. What could be better than bread of any kind soaked in egg and cinnamon and vanilla and cooked in butter? Plus, you can dress it up with anything. Peanut butter, sour cream, yogurt, jelly, maple syrup, fresh fruit, nuts, frozen fruit, Nutella. Add a couple eggs over medium. make this cheat quiche when I don't want to take the time to make a crust but I want to dress up a frittata a little bit and it's pretty tasty. I am very much a see what I have in the fridge and then cook something with it type of cook. So embarrassingly enough I had practically no veggies in the fridge and I found some chicken sausage that I froze in the freezer. But the recipe is one cup shredded cheese, a quarter cup onion, one to two cups veggies, whatever you have, and two cups milk. Four eggs and salt and pepper. Then you put one cup of pancake mix. This kind of creates its own little crust. It's a handy recipe. Thanks guys, I hope you can use some of these recipes. They are fun, they are easy for the most part, and they are yummy. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs>